After a turbulent day, a quiet evening, and a beautiful one in the Denver area. This from our camera up at the Westin Hotel in Westminster. Lovely clouds looking off to the west. Nothing to really worry about. Looking farther off to the west from our camera at the top, Loveland Ski Area looking up over the divide. There may be two feet of new snow up that way in the next two days. Let me show you what's happening in Denver right now. Our skies have cleared out a bit. It's 50 downtown, 48 degrees out at the airport. Humidity is high at 77%. Pressure's rising. Winds from the west southwest at five. We hit 72. Look at that. We're not going to see that number again for quite some time as colder air begins to move. So big changes are coming. It'll be dry and mild tomorrow morning. Showers developed by late afternoon. Rain changes to snow on Thursday. A May snowstorm coming in with that rain changing to snow Thursday evening. May see some tree damage, especially above 6,000 feet Thursday night with some power outages by early Friday and freezing temperatures both Friday and Saturday morning. Tonight, the first wave of severe weather is from northeast Colorado all the way to the Great Lakes. And look at this, a 12,000 mile line of severe weather from Texas to Michigan. 20 tornadoes reported in the Midwest for today. As far as our weather conditions, that's the first storm moving away from us. Here comes the next one. This one's going to be slower, colder, and stronger as it pushes into Colorado tomorrow and continues on Thursday. So overnight tonight, scattered showers linger on the eastern plains. Dry conditions come into the metro area. Low temperatures drop to the low 40s with 20s and 30s expect in the mountains. Then tomorrow, some morning showers on the plains. Dry weather here. Rain and snow start to move into western Colorado. We get through the lunchtime with sunshine, looking pretty good actually, but the rain and snow increasing west of the divide, and by later in the afternoon, start to get the scattered showers moving out on the plains. So not a bad day tomorrow. The high 68 degrees, 70 at Greeley, 69 at Lyman, 43 at Leadville. The fun really starts tomorrow night and continues then into Friday. Watch by the time we get to midnight on Thursday, rain on the plains, snow in the mountains. By 6 a.m. Thursday, heavy snow in the mountains, heavy rain along the I-25 corridor. Begins to change to snow by Thursday at 6 p.m. More heavy mountain snow and Friday morning, it's snow all the way down to about 5,000 feet elevation with rain on the plains. So how much snow to expect? A lot in the mountains, one to two feet up toward Rocky Mountain National Park. We're going to see eight to 16 down Park County, parts of Douglas County, Jefferson County, four to eight expected down toward the Castle Rock area, two to four Denver Metro. Now a lot of that will melt on the roads and mush down to not much on the grass and one to two inches of rain mixed with snow on the plains. And it is mid to late May. 43 tonight, showers northeast corner of the state, dry in the metro. Tomorrow, the high temperature at 68. Morning sun, the showers develop late. And then looking at Thursday, it's rain changing to snow late with a high of 45. It's snow Thursday night and Friday morning, changing back to some rain with 42 on Friday. Obviously, our alert days. Saturday, 30 in the morning, a few afternoon showers. Bright spot, 65 on Sunday. And remember I mentioned look at that 72 yeah. on the high today. Don't <laughs> see another one of those on that seven if, day. If I can quote my two year old, what the hecky? Yeah. <laughs>